nicely. So we'll just go like this. <laughs> so if you guys are ready, last time yep. you oh, became owners of a new ship called the Endurance, stealing it from the harbor of Horgrim's Gate, meeting up with Captain Flesky, ex Captain Flesky, <laughs> and uh, a somewhat loyal crew that is going to be accompanying you on these unknown waters of the Azure Sea as you make your way towards Dread Parish Isle with that being your main goal for now you've in a kind of democracy decided on um, who's going to be taking what kind of role on the ship with uh, Brandwolf becoming the bosun, um, the captain, the new captain of the ship being Blackwater, and Kader becoming the first mate. As um, your newly uh, quartermaster of the ship, Fudge, the old turtle, with his metal claw on one feet, he kind of like hunkers down towards the captain's room, uh, opening this big map of the Asur Sea. Um, I would say since this is the first time we're recording, why don't you just give a quick little description of your characters as you enter this room and gather around the table, perhaps? Leon, maybe if you want to start. Right, so uh, that's a dwarf of normal dwarven height. Um, grayish, grayish red hair, <clears throat> long beard, has a hood over, over his head. Um, looks looks a bit rough, like the his armor's not not shredded, but you can see it has seen its use. Um, carrying a big backpack or like a little a, a big satchel. Um, which is stuffed full of books and, um, scrolls. Um, he's wearing, um, two daggers and a small crossbow on his back. And I'm, yeah, just gonna move and stand next to the table, staring at the, intently at the, um, Dread Parish Isle. Daggers and a crossbow he never uses. <laughs> yeah, well, there's no need for that. <laughs> All right. For the sake of uh, brevity, I would say Tiala, our half-elven druid who cannot be with us uh, today. She will turn into her beloved shark form and scout the waters ahead off the ship and will remain there for now. Um, yeah, Blackwater. As Blackwater enters the room, you see just a normal height, um... Yeah, just a normal height, uh, halfling. Stout halfling, uh, with, uh, medium longish, um, brown hair and brown eyes. Just wearing very typical leather trench coat and just, yeah, very, very, very common clothes. Um, what you do notice on him is that he has a lot of, like, bottles, like, around his belt or somewhere on his trench coat. And um, his, yeah, specifically his pouch on the right side, full of just, like, weird potion ingredients. On top of that, you see him wearing... A shield that probably, like, covers the entirety of his back. <laughs> um, some weird, weird, very bizarre shield. Oh, man. That's about it. Oh, man. Enclosed space. And a shield like that. That's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, Branwolf. Well, tower <clears throat> towering over both of them, Branwolf <laughs> enters the room, kind of ducks down because... The ship is probably not 
made for skilling barbarians, but um, he gets uh, next to Freon and Blackwater. Um, he's always had petty uh, little, little, little. Now you wouldn't say that he got in trouble or, or in big fights with them, but they always bicker back and forth, both of them. But Blackwater always has his back with his potions. He makes sure that Branville's blade is always poisoned. And Freon has helped him out of many, many a turn before. And um, Branwolf also, uh, Freon allowed him to have to ride together on a horse, which is which Branwolf accepts as a very big honor. And uh, <laughs> yep, Branwolf isn't, isn't. Yeah, he's uh, Branwolf isn't the brightest blade of the bunch. He's definitely not doesn't have much wits, but he makes up with a lot of honor, a lot of strength, and uh, he's very true to the group. He's uh, at the moment wearing. Uh, kind of a mixture of the remains of what is left of a of a I think it was one of the cows of a which he picked up from one of the guards of his last adventure then he has his 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 mail underneath that and tucking up to keep warm against the wind because he still is already is an elderly gentleman he uh, has uh, a pelt which uh, probably looks like an ice bear pelt, which he's uh, got tucked underneath all of this. Um, on the back, he's got his trusty sword Talon, which is a magical item, which he found in one of his many adventures. And from his last of his home sweet home weapons, he has the two axes, which he wields with deadly certainty. One is called Leroy, and the other is called Jenkins. And uh, yes, he steps up and just kind of looks down at the map and thinking that uh, Freon is probably looking for Dead Parish Isle, but Branwolf can't read much, so he's just he's just, <laughs> he's just staring at the same thing, looking, mm, yeah. looking at the yeah. colors. Yeah, <laughs> nice colors. <laughs> All righty, yeah. Kader. So, with a slight stumble to his gate. You see Kader lurking behind the rest of the group. Um, average height, you f- sense that because of his um, distinctive features, he's half elf race. Um, slightly aging with hair tied, um, tied up, long hair that's tied up, the color of dusty silver. Um, and although you see this this stumble to his gait, and you presume is somewhat drunk, you see this this sharpness to his eye and this, this sense of intelligence and curiosity. Um, he has sorcerer's powers, um, and because of this, he was actually outcast from his um, from his family and friends because he his intrigue. Uh, towards this pushed him away from from these people um, due to magic being somewhat frowned upon in in this world and because of that he's lived a pretty unsavory life and has, has preyed off people that are more unsavory than him um, acting mainly as a charlatan and a, and a trickster just just getting along in life and, and drinking his profits <laughs> all righty <clears throat> so as you all gather down around the map table feeling the slight little shifting of the endurance as it sails on now into ever so more open waters than most of you are comfortable with um fudge the turtle quartermaster kind of bows over the map looking up towards uh, Blackwater and says Well Captain where's it gonna be? I was thinking and I would need everyone's input on this but I was thinking maybe heading towards this tiny speck of land all the way to the to the west of the Skilfing waters do you have do you have any experience with this 
this island that's over there, Fudge. Well, and you see him like kind of like leaning in more. Sailing that far west would mean to be crossing the Dom Hind Trench. And the Dom Hind Trench is not something many ships survive crossing. There are stories of dark beings that lurk in the depths below. And usually it's avoided by the travel routes that go between Red Parish Isle and the continent of Revelia. So there are trading routes? There is, there are a few trading routes that lead all the way from here, Orgrim's Gate, back down to Salt Marsh. But, I mean, if, if, if that's what you want, are you planning on going down to Dread Parish Isle? That was the plan, I believe, but the captain well, also agreed. Absolutely. That was our intention, yeah. yes. Yeah. Is there a I safer mean, way or a different way? Well, as I see it, and as I have sailed some of these before, we could either go through the Foglands, which is a dangerous task, full of mist and ships easily lose their way without a good navigator on board, but that's what you have me for, right? We could also use the Kirin Reef, which is passable, but I would probably avoid it due to the shrapnel-like stones that come close to the water surface there. And there are stories that some have even bested Lagertha's descent, which is a more natural phenomenon of a large whirlpool that sends ships to their depths, and more often than not is the last thing a brave sailor might ever see. So we got three ways, and they're all three dangerous. <laughs> That's optimistic. But, no. Blackwater, haven't you been to Dread Parish Isle? Yeah, once or twice. Which way did you go? Uh, yeah, I was gonna ask. I, I'm afraid I cannot really disclose that. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly because I was. I was a stowaway on the ship that sailed through all the way to Revelia, so I don't know. I was mostly below deck and I couldn't really tell where we were. So basically you're the captain of the ship now and you don't have any experience. expertise <laughs> sailing. You've been a stowaway. No, no, I... I well, I do have expertise in sailing, just not specifically this route. Well, these are all the choices I currently have here. What does one do to reach Kiopia? You sail to Great Parish Isle first. <laughs> Great. What about if we I ask Captain Flisky? mean, oh, you could he's always gonna try. Really be happy, yeah. To pass the Domheim Trench, but whatever route you choose, it's always important for the captain to address the crew beforehand and tell them of our plan and our route. Well, I think that since I have the best, I guess the best contact to Flesky and we got along, you know, I had him on my ear all the time. I probably yeah. maybe, uh, maybe he'll he'll talk with me because he probably has his nose a little bit out of joint because we 
told him that we're taking our halfling friend to be a captain and not him. Yeah, you're you're looking around. You don't see Flesky in the yeah, room. Yeah, I was just going to say he did not probably... come down with you in the okay. uh, captain's quarters. I'm going to head up and see if I can talk to Flesky and. Uh, should All I right, see so if, you, you, if you want? To, should I see if you want to come down with us, or do you, you think you that's head back, kind of you head back up on deck? Um, yeah. Make a general perception check because okay. there are like so many uh, crewmates running around uh, doing their thing. Ooh, that's nice. That's uh, a nineteen perception. A nineteen. All right. I have perception. Perception zero. Yeah, nineteen. All righty. Okay. With a 19, you look around, trying to, um... Oh, by the way, in the background, roll 20 has loaded, apparently. Oh. Yeah, I'm successfully oh. on the... Look Here, we're, we're successfully on the on the map, uh, if you want to change to it as well. Um, you, you look around, and normally you recognize Flesky right away with his, like, uh, little hats and his bright blue and red feathers he, he adorns it with. Um... Mm. You don't see any, any such a little, almost dwarven-like in statue person there. Hmm. But he, 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 he was on board when we left, isn't he? Yeah, he definitely it's was not... was on board with you. Let me yeah. actually put you over here to your, uh, to your ship, so you see a little bit more of the different levels of this ship as well. Hmm. Moment. Oh, there we are. Yeah. Um, are there any other sailors or any of the of old Flesky's crew standing around? There, there's a bunch of people that like rushing yeah, past I, you, I, hoisting I, sails. Uh, yeah, doing I kind of, I kind of uh, grab uh, grab the first one and say, All right. "Hey, mate, where's where can I find Flesky? I'm looking for." for yeah, you Flesky. see this? You stop this uh, rather young-looking. Um, you're not sure if it's a boy, like a uh, at at second uh, second look you see him more looking like a um, that it's like a girl probably mm. in a in just disguised to look like a boy, mm. and she kind of says, um, "Flesky, he went uh, somewhere below deck." Okay. Oh. How many decks do we have? Because we we went below deck into the was that the captain's quarters or where were where, where were we below deck? You were um, right now. Hang on, I need to move you over here. You were up yeah. there. Well, actually, let me okay. put Tiana away so yeah. she's swimming around. So yeah. you were over here. It was like the first, um, more or less like the. It's not below deck, but like the little captain's yeah. cabin in the back. Okay. Then uh, let me go down past that and then go below deck and see if any if I see him in any of the lying in any of the cots or or even even further. I'm gonna gonna head down. Let me All see. Right. I guess I guess I can move I myself. I think yeah, yeah, you can move yourself be here as well. Coming down. So going down the yeah. the little ladder leading down, um, you immediately hear like some clanking noises of pots and stuff being rummaged around and you see Flesky in a what looks to be a small little makeshift kind of dining area with a table and a makeshift kitchen in the back and you see him like currently sorting through a few things uh, looking through some uh, barrels basically just taking stock of a few things okay I gotta kind of give him a friendly greeting hey Flesky hey Brad Wolf can I help you with anything ah uh, no just getting some stuff sorted down here since yeah, we... I'm not needed anymore up thick uh, I wouldn't I... say that I wouldn't say that you're not needed friend I it just you know they voted for the captain you know how that is with sea rule and of uh, course and, yes and of we, course we, we don't want to be mutineers, but I do believe that your knowledge and your experience um, you know, kind of lo <laughs> laying on my charisma. I'm probably gonna have to roll for a uh, um, um, persuasion or something. But uh, kind of laying that thickly on him. Your your experience would probably. I think even our young our young captain would probably, even though you're not his first mate, 
or didn't wish to be the first mate, he could probably still use some of your from your experience because we're wondering now, for example, how to get closer to, to Dread Parish Isle, how the best way would be, and maybe you'd have some ideas. Would you want to join us? Well, you no. normally just sail southwest. That's the best way to get there. Uh, roll <laughs> yeah. a persuasion check. Yeah, let me... I'm sorry, what? I have persuasion. One moment. Plus, plus one. That's a 16. 16. Yeah. Blesky looks around the area and says, You know, Branwolf, what any ship needs, even more than a captain... A good cook. Correct. <laughs> you cannot sail without something good to drink, even something better to eat, something warm, okay. something to sustain you through the cold nights on sea. But yes, I'll go and see what your little land rat of a captain there might need. <laughs> but yeah. usually from now here. on, I think yeah. I will make my, my, my home down here. Get a good grip on the sailors upstairs. That's a good idea. And you see him kind of like good. waddle back up the, the yeah. ladder. Okay, well, like I said, I kind of pat him on the back and say, yeah, we don't want no hard feelings because we've been through all of the enough together. So, but let me, let me take you, let me take you with me to the, so we head down to the room and, and then I come back in here with Flesky behind me and said, Captain Blackwater, I have someone who'd like, yes. I have someone who would, uh, who would uh, to join us if you remember our friend Flesky and ex Captain Flesky. Um, Aye, you filthy card buckets, what you need? <laughs> he might be able to help How us. Does, a Flesky? Bit. So we are aware of the perils uh, of traveling all the way down to Dread Parish Isle. We were just wondering which of the perils are the least dangerous. Well, I myself have never been to Dread Parish Isle. I've sailed the the empirical waters here around uh, Revelia. But, um, <laughs> I mean, I've, I've heard of some that have taken some, some of the, the old trade routes down there. It's not that often that you see any any kind of uh, large vessels going all the way to Red Petal Child, especially not the Kingsmen. But, um, so let's see here. And he kind of like looks at the map. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I've heard of Lagartha's Descent. Not a good place to start. No, 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 not at all. You don't want to sail over the Domhine Trench. That's where what we all tend to avoid. Because I have not heard of a single ship that has gone past there and has ever returned. I would say either head through the Foglands. I, that's when I got lost about 15 years ago, it must have been. And that's when I first saw uh, some of the islands near... The Dread Parish Isle region, but I've never ventured farther than the Falklands myself. The Kieran Reef, gotta be honest with ya. I'm unfamiliar with it. Never sailed there myself. Beautiful. What 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 can what do we find in the Foglands? Because you've been there, so Well, I myself uh, have become lost of course there at least twice or so. Um, I've heard of vicious storms that form. Some even say of the arcane matter as well, which are far more dangerous than a normal storm would be. And given the and name, and far more spectacular as well. Presumably, it's extremely low visibility in the Falklands. Yes, I mean, and if if we're lucky and we. Uh, the the gods are with us. Um, we might go through without too much issue and just treat it uh, as any other day drenched in mm. fog. But there have been times I couldn't have seen farther than five feet away from me. Which mm. even makes navigating this ship a challenge. 
sorcery and low visibility. Perfect recipe for an ambush. But do you still think it's the safest route? Because what is what is going on in that Domhain Trench? What exactly. sort of stories so are Well, told? I've heard of gargantuan beings that prick ships from the surface like little toys and pull sailors in the prime of their years down to their dark depths below, never to be seen again. And yes, I have not heard of a single ship that made its way over the Domhain Trench unscathed. Well, good. Is it Mimics? Mimics? How the hell would a Mimic swim? Oh, you wouldn't believe me. Trust me. Well, I've seen some stuff, but I haven't seen a Mimic swim. <laughs> right. Yes, you have. Oh, that's true, I have! <laughs> <laughs> I have seen a mimic swim. I was gonna yeah. say, what do you mean? God Almighty, yes. Well, don't you remember? Oh no, I think Kadir. I don't know. Were you with us or were you? Yeah. Oh, you were with us, yes. The but you weren't. You weren't part of the session, mimic. I believe. <laughs> no, you were with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ship-shaped mimic. Yes. Right. The ship-shaped yeah. mimic. I remember yeah. that. That's the story I will if tell I my correctly. unborn grandchildren. Yeah, it was the same the battle. The ship-shaped mimic. That's think, something uh, a bard could maybe ship -shaped use. Ship-shaped mimic. Our yes. good friend F Freon here ran a mile, he did, if I remember correctly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I survived. Well, we have they our... All we, we all did, yeah. that's only, true. So we have our choices to make. This well, um... um Captain Blackwater, uh, I don't want to be prancing around your barnacle or anything, but... <laughs> Um, once you get a destination and a path set, you should get together with your first mate, address the crew, and tell them you have everything under control and it's the best plan you ever made, so we don't have a mutiny uh, with us by 10 day. And by the way... Sounds good, but... By the way, we have the best ship's cook now. Ever because Flesky has decided to to make sure that we don't go hungry and that we have a good stew in our belly. Yes, to and fight. actually, I'll um, I'll get right on that. Probably I will uh, when you call the crew together. I will come upstairs, but I'll get pre preparations for. I think breakfast is in order. Before you go, I before you head off. How common is it for? A captain and his crew to solve these matters in a more democratic way because we seem to have three well four obvious options it's very would... very uh, rare normally the captain just says and everybody obeys and that's how a <laughs> ship is run you gotta have a good all grip right. on the crew you know all right all right I mean that's Thanks, what Flusky. the captain does that's the task You've shouldered onto yourself. <laughs> anyway, I'm making Any some bacon now. Me. Goodbye. Okay. And you see him just jump yeah. down the ladder again. <laughs> before, before and he immediately leaves, hear I... more clanking of yeah. pots from downstairs. Bef before he leaves, I slip him a little because I still have a little flask from the adventure of cranberry wine. Oh. W without Kader seeing this, I kind of slip it to him and say, oh. "Thanks, thanks, Flesky. I really appreciate this." K K Kadir, are you like <laughs> want to keep a watch? Do you want to no, roll for he, perception? He, no, I'm just gonna. No, I'm he's, just gonna he's distracted. He's yeah, he's all right, all right. He, yeah, Flesky looks looks at the bottle yeah. with uh, with big eyes and kind of like nods at you yeah, and, and says, it oh, "Use it for the cooking." Then there you go. Oh, good man, good man. <laughs> goes back down. Okay. You, you do see yeah. Kadir's nostrils. <laughs> slightly, <laughs> without even knowing why. Yeah and, yeah, and he squints in concentration momentarily, and then and then gets back to preening <laughs> like his like a his hound, aged jacket. A hound dog for alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah Bramble. I think some Bramble well, always wants to make sure that everybody everybody's happy. You know? <laughs> uh, at at this point, also the uh, Budge steps forward again. Um, saying, 
Well, once you decide, Captain Blackwater, I will start making the navigational chart. It should be done in a few minutes. Perfect. I think there's still a bit more discussion in order, though. Because I personally have a strong, strong tendency to go towards the Domhain Trench and pass it as early as possible, so to speak, so that we get to the other side and try to reach Kiopia. I don't know what the remainder, remainder of the team thinks. But would you want to go north then first and then cross the trench? I mean, I'm, I, I tend to believe the stories that Flesky tells us. Yeah. I, still I mean, you, think can, you can also roll an inside check if you want to. <laughs> no. no, I believe Flesky too. Yeah. And, uh, but I still think that it's probably safer to go through fog and maybe a spell or two or something than some getting our innards ripped out from, a, from, from, the, from the shards of a, of a riff. You know that there are spells that rip picked. your innards out. I know. <laughs> but also <laughs> Or or we try the we try the, the, the reef, which has a But I just think that big monsters that pick us up is probably Yeah, I, um, I tend to agree with you. I would I think I would rather go through the foglands, but as yeah. I'm not captain. No 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 I same here. I, I appreciate the input though. You, um, you kind of see uh, like as you're discussing this, uh, <laughs> the turtle in the background, like sitting there, just like looking to the left and right, <laughs> kind of like it is, this is very unusual. <laughs> yeah. So what? So what? We're a team. That's how it goes. That's our problem. So yeah, we're adventurers and, and no, no. Yeah, I think in, in that case, I think it's very unanimous. I think we'll go through the foglands, and that's it. I. Everyone agree with it? I. Yeah. And not from Kader. Good. Perfect. Could we? But could we use Tiala for scouting? Sure. Yeah. Uh, eagles. Her Madras eagles. Oh, well, she's a, a shark. Well, at the now. moment, she's, she's a shark. She's currently so. in in yeah. so. in shark form, in just shark like form. Uh, oh, following al along the. The endurance, uh, kind of like uh, going back and forth a little bit, just yeah, checking she's, she's scouting what might be anyways, beneath the yeah. waves or something. In, in, in that ahead. case, wouldn't wouldn't the reefs be a better way to go? But just to using just, her just as a just as a, a general uh, tip, if you look at the map, yeah, one one of these the reef, one of these hexes is thirty miles. Mm -hmm. So it's not like yeah. you would be able to send her out then just wait for her because that's gonna be like several days or more no, no I, I meant mm -hmm. that we use her for scouting i don't know just yeah. general, general in the in, perception no no not necessarily that but once we reach the outskirts of the foglands or once we reach ah, the, gotcha. the outskirts of the mm -hmm. reefs yeah. that she yeah, sure. basically can guide us through the fog yeah, she could without guide us. us needing needing visuals mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and also nice. she could she could kind of guide yeah, us to go strategy. left or right to get away. Though there's more mm -hmm. rocks here, there's less rocks there, or or yeah, whatever. which which makes me think maybe the reefs are really a better option considering yeah. that we have her by our side. That's true. Or... I didn't think of that. Also. Yeah, just to uh, you see, Fudge chime in for uh, navigational purposes. You need ideally the sky or the stars and the sun mm -hmm. so if there's fog it's gonna get a little hard if you're underwater i don't see how that's gonna help at all and within the fog lands i mean yes oh, mm -hmm. right just but... wanted to put that out there in case you haven't made up your mind yet mm. but a fish knows it's it's a way, you know. 
shark would know its way for us. Yeah. Could your owl be kind of a guide and see the stars and let you telepathically know, you know, steer well, right, steer well, left? De- depends on how high the fog goes. The, yeah. The, well, yeah. Like within the reefs, the sky we would see ourselves. Yeah, that as well. Yeah. And the water yeah. problem would be solved. Yeah. I mean, so that feels it doesn't really matter, so- but we... we where where we go in the end, so we just go yeah. down towards Foglands and Kirin Reef, right? Yeah. True. True. So okay. For now, and then we can we can see um, once we're getting close, yeah. which way speak, is the safer one? Speak maybe. the word, Captain. Uh-huh. Make it. So- Kirin Reef. Make it, it so- is. Make it so, number one. <laughs> <laughs> Energize. Perfect. Um, Fudge, will you do the honors of uh, plotting a route? Sure thing, Captain. And he kind of gets yeah. right on it with some of his uh, tools and instruments he uses. I'll probably need another 20 minutes or so. It's probably best if you get the crew together and tell them the happy news. Yep. And uh, there will you help me with that? And the bacon, the bacon should be done by then. <laughs> At your disposal, Captain. You, you, you get some like the first uh, scent of uh, singed mm. uh, bacon hits your mm. hits your nose as you hear some sizzling going on downstairs. Bacon. So yeah, I would say uh, Kader and I, we head up, I guess. Yeah. Top deck. All right. Round up the people through. Yeah, yeah Kader, if you, if you'll do the honors. Hey, you see, uh, coming coming up now, um, most of the uh, crewmates, they're like busy tending to, to different uh, things, tending to the ropes and sails. Um, others are starting to like since some of the 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 weaponry, the cannons and and things, uh, since they were not like stowed away, but they were brought into a like fastened position. They're starting to like make everything ready for use, since this is also the endurance's uh, what do you call it, like a, 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 a maiden voyage in this case. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you step up and see them busy with stuff, running running across the deck, doing things. Trying to see very fast. Where's the boss? And crew leads of pyramid is gonna. Well, I I I'll uh, head up and just stand a bit to the side, waiting for chaos to happen, as I know my <laughs> colleagues. All right. <laughs> do we do? Do we have a bell on the ship? There's like a little a bell, right, uh, coming out of the, the captain's mm. quarters next to you on the left side, with a little mm. thing, uh, like a little strap. I can uh, also just I can also bearing just, inside. If, if you just want to get the crew's attention, I can just let out a barbaric bell and <laughs> call them all to attention. You know, that sounds better. Okay. Yeah, I could use a minor illusion actually to just. Uh, simulate the sound of cannon fire. Yeah, we can just do everything at once. Yeah, let's, it, just. Let's, let's put on an event. Let's put yeah. on an event, guys. Come on. Yeah. We need to make a good first impression. Yeah. So I'm gonna go up and right. r- ring the bell and say, "Get up, you scurvy! The captains want to talk to you. Come on, come on, back to the your hearties. All right. Come on!" Goes ding, 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 and ding, and ding. everybody like uh, uh, gets going. You hear you hear some shouts like "Attention on deck!" Uh, going through and people slowly there's like this little crowd this little this crowd building around the uh, captain's quarters now all looking at <laughs> the halfling and the sorceress uh, half elven first mate 12 gun salute right <laughs> first mate Kinnair. gentlemen <laughs> lads lassies <laughs> day to you all a decision has been made. The captain. Aye. You hear like Bills. a few supportive cheers <laughs> coming out of the, 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 the crew and then 
after silence befells them once more, there's like a few... So where are we going? Well, let me tell you, riches await vast adventures on our doorstep. Captain, what is the decision? We are heading towards Kirin Reef. Aye! That's our destination! No! Ram Wolf gets out this single aye! Ding, 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 ding! Ah, adventure! That shall be our Blood route shed. to Dread Parish Isle. And there's like a, a few murmurs going, oh, Dread Parish Isle. Ah, come well, on, what are we wussies. going there for, Captain? <laughs> Adventure? What else? Aye. We're about to kick. And there's Aye. like a few more supports. <laughs> Supportive <laughs> <laughs> shouts coming through. <laughs> and we are going to kick a ton of loyalists' ass. And some of the Scarlet Brotherhood as well, if we get to find some. The At the, the part where you say loyalists... There's like uh, definitely some like hype going on among the crew. As soon as you mention the Scarlet Brotherhood, though, it all like dies down, and you see a little bit of fear pop up in one in a, in a few of their eyes. Like, and there's uh, some whispering Scarlet Brother. Did he say Scar Scarlet Brotherhood? Come on, as if any of you wouldn't want to kick their asses anyway for what they've done for so long. I don't know. Is anyone from here, from Saltmarsh, or anywhere from the Dread Parish Isles? There, there's like a uh, a few people that shift to the side, and you see this this old gnome with like broad, <laughs> pointy ears, bald, and he has like this this little whitish kind of like chin beard, and it just lets out this little squeak. Hey, <laughs> what is your name, good sir? Um, Fritz. And you know, Sir Fritz, what the Brotherhood has done to Dread Parish Isle. Aye, they're scum. There we go. So we know that they're Fuck at least the as bad. the Brotherhood. Aye. We know <laughs> that they're at least as bad as the Loyalists. Fuck so the, the Loyalists. They deserve the same fate. <laughs> Brad was happy for anybody getting excited. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, they, they all kind of like <laughs> absolutely misusing the bell for everything for each eye. <laughs> and then the crew kind of gets like settled again and then they start cheering. If Fritz says they're it? scum, they're scum. Yeah. They're scum, yeah, that's what he said. Three cheers for that's Captain Blackwater! Hip hip! And they all hey, start cheering hey, uh, with hey. you guys. Uh, <laughs> hip, hip. Uh, right. Let's go. Let's get to work. Um, at the at the same time, you see Flesky uh, coming up, a pipe Ooh. in one hand, chewing on one piece of bacon. <gasps> all right, your thieving work shirt and blast pigs. It's time for breakfast downstairs. And don't you dare slack off work, or else there's no supper. And he kind of hands out a few little uh, pieces of, of bread and bacon around, which he brought up in an empty barrel with him. Um, all right. So at the same time, uh, Fudge has finished navigating the chart. Um, if you look at the... Let me get you guys back on the map over here. Um, if you look back on the map, we have... Um, so one of these hexes is 30 miles, and the endurance can... Um, let me check, double check, because it has a speed. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Yeah, um, so what... Um, what Fudge basically navigated the route to the Kirin Reef, he expects you guys to be on sea for about three weeks of time to get all the way to Salt Marsh, which is basically the largest dock, uh, as you know, also Blackwater on Dread Parish Isle. Mm -hmm. um, so let me quickly check the Endurance, um, because the Endurance has a speed 
of bum, 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 bum. yeah 120 miles per day that's basically the travel okay. pace of it um so let me quickly see uh, so is there is there anything you guys want to like focus on while um, being at sea? Any like things you want to take care of? Um, if we ever do encounter any like loyalist or imperialist uh, ship, I would like to try to ambush them, considering that the Endurance is a ship of this of a similar nature mm -hmm. and probably aesthetically like. It should be the perfect cover to kind of approach them in a very friendly way and then ambush them by surprise as soon as like we're in good range. Alrighty. Uh, not necessarily like destroying them completely, but you know, doing enough damage um, and just scaring them enough to give up the ship. Mm -hmm. Well, then. That's at least my. As Bozen, I think, uh, and since um, we do have all kinds of guns and. And good things. I don't know if I have to get together with the quartermaster, if I should do that on my own. I'm going to check and see if there are any repairs. There shouldn't be any repairs at the moment since the ship is like brand new. Mm -hmm. But I want to get all the weapons ready, the cannons ready, make sure all the the rigging is in all the the um, the axes, you know. So, so if we so if mm -hmm. we really see action, that we can react right away and. And fire of all the act quickly. All right. Yeah. Well, I want to get all the um, weaponry. Is so there is, you... is there a sergeant at arms or something which I have to get together with, or is the bosun more or less that also his job? No, too? the the uh, the bosun's job is mainly to make sure that the ship itself is in good condition. Okay. It's the main go-to uh, person for any kind of like repairs. Yeah. on ship especially like um you do find several like sets of carpenter tools which you're mm -hmm. probably not proficient with i i believe but you can but, still use them uh one moment i do or have, do you have any kind of proficiency yeah, with carpenters I have ship, tools? one moment i have oh shipwright tools yeah I that's what you have tools, i believe which yeah, I, I don't yeah know, that's basically the the same in your case yeah I yeah so you're if, you're proficient in those so yeah. any kind of like checks shipwright you do tool. would be using these tools and repairing yeah. them yeah Okay, um, so, so the, I'm gonna get the ship ready for action. Yeah, surprisingly enough, um, the Endurance makes her way off the coast of Revelia without any kind of um, incident in terms of like seeing any other ships from uh, the King or any other armada. You don't have any... Uh, you get the sense, since the escape was so... Um, fortunate that probably it's owed to the fact that most of the armada is down south and east busy with the war effort um, against the dragonborn army what colors are we flying are we flying royalist colors at the moment just like the captain said that we the still um the um thing itself no you can no you need them or do you have one Oh yeah, then you can use them. Um, because our, our druid is getting ready. Ah, very good, very good. <laughs> um, because uh, you are currently, like the flag itself, which you haven't hoisted yet, no. but it, 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 um, you see that the, the Empire's crest itself is basically atop um, like this dark red um, uh, background. You see a whitish kind of... It almost looks like a skull-like face with uh, like five um, points that go upward, resembling almost like a crown. So it's like this mixture of like a skull with a crown on top of it. Okay. And the colors are mostly like either um, dark red, like crimson almost, and black. Okay. And that's basically the, the current color of the ship as well. The sails are pretty neutral. But the flag you currently have, yeah. like, not hoisted, but available to you is yeah. that of the Empire. It is the Empire's flag. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you might want to, if you want to choose to hoist something different, I don't know, some boxers or something, or do something with the flag. <laughs> <laughs> I 
put up put up that's, put that's brand, up to you. Put up brand, brand wolf's old underwear. <laughs> Hang on, brand wolf is wearing underwear. This destroys. No, I'm not. I never do. My complete I imagery don't. of him. No, <laughs> the barbarian always swings freely, <laughs> dragging on the ground behind him. <laughs> so yeah, but currently you do not have any colors hoisted yet, unless the captain has ordered it. Ordered it no, to. I, I was just wondering that if, if, if we really get into um, action, if you said yeah. you, we want to disguise ourselves, then we'd, of course we'd use that. But then once we decide to become the true pirates and buccaneers that we're going to be, we have to have some black colors to hoist. I want to hoist the colors. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I, can, I, um, can start, I can start making something out of my old underwear. <laughs> the... Hang on, I need my notes here. Yeah, so the first... Uh, the first four days go by without any issue. On the afternoon of the... And, and also for, like, you don't need to, like, sustain yourself, because for now, the... Um, it's about, like, the, 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 the storage and uh, stuff that is stored on the um, Endurance is definitely enough to sustain you for like a month or so. Okay. So are you, you have... are you mapping are you mapping us on the map moving the ship uh, for days Yeah. Uh yeah, I I just yeah. uh moved you down there. Okay, good. Just hey, what know. happened to to our good friend uh uh our our music bot he just like left. Yeah. Just <laughs> like that. For some Does reason. Like it, guys? Yeah, he 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 didn't want to join, apparently. Come back. Maybe he's gonna take a leak or something. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he also needs a break every now and then. <laughs> um. So yeah. Um. The uh, on on the afternoon of this fourth day, you see that there's some sort of like front before you, like a white kind of almost looking like clouds. And it's slowly getting closer, and and by uh, late afternoon, uh, you start to have some like moderate fog that is enclosing the ship, making it hard uh, to navigate. Um, now, in in a situation like this, uh, you can use um, either. Uh, there's like two different people. It's the quartermaster and also the captain that can make certain like roll for a check. In your case, um, Blackwater, you roll and add your uh, proficiency bonus to it, since you're proficient with um, with the uh, with water vehicles in this case. Mm -hmm. And um, Fudge will also try to see how good he can navigate through uh, this fog. So it's both at the same time, or just either one? Uh, it's both. I rolled, and then you also roll, and we'll check what the total is of that I've got a nine total a nine total alrighty I forgot that I suck at rolling you suck at rolling um all right so you um you see this this uh, fog coming in and it's the first time now for you Blackwater as you all also try to to actually try and navigate and keep a course using um, a compass and also uh, the the way the, uh, the, 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 the 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 sun is currently standing and it gets pretty hard to see and you also see that um, to the best of his abilities Fudge is also trying to do this while you kind of like on his call direct different commands to the crew and they just start to like adjust sail slowly and um, try to keep the ship on point. But you do like kind of like fall back half a day uh, trying to fight through this fog. But uh, at the morning of the next day, the fog is lifted and you guys go on um, as usual. And continue your path. Not too bad. So how far we're gonna get for you pretty far alrighty 
Um, so let's bring you down. All right. So after the first, almost you're you're encroaching like the almost two week mark on your um on on the ship itself. You do also get the sense the um the crew itself um has kind of is a little bit on edge since just the life and then also you guys the life on the um on the ship itself being like enclosed on enclosed quarters kind of like gets you a little bit not being able to really go out of the way of people or just having a minute for yourself it's just you see the same faces over and over again and it just gets a little bit um how would you say it? like a little bit um it just cabin, goes on your nerves cabin fever. yeah it's and it's it's straining yeah you get this yeah, kind of cabin fever, cabin fever feel because you 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 look around you see blue all the time um you it's like not really something where you uh can say like how far have you come how far is it still yeah after around two weeks on sea the crew kind of becoming a little restless um you do uh start to like kind of like edge on the area of where you uh would think the foglands are and like looking off into the distance there's just this wall of white that just stretches endlessly across the horizon and you're kind of like also uh, using this after Butch told you and gave you like the tip to just keep heading along this wall of fog not actually entering it and um, once there's an opening just like keep going with it and soon you will be uh, within the Kirin Reef which is your last big hurdle before going to Dread Parish Isle and reaching it um you do, after these uh, two weeks, also spot a little speckle in the distance, a little dark spot on the horizon. You can, like, if you want to, uh, whoever's, like, keeping maybe a lookout in the crow's nest, make a perception check for me. I just could as of the shaking a glass of wine. Alrighty. So roll, uh, yeah, roll a perception for me then, Kadir. It's fourteen. Fourteen. All right. Yes. Let me quickly keep track of the because we have this nice little road. thing of a a crew uh, a crew morale meter, which is on the other. There we go. The other map on your on your like on the ship's map. Hang on, let me bring you over here so you can see it. There's like this little thing where we I can mark like the hit points for you, and also the crew itself has a. Currently, you have 15 crew members, and oh, they have a. Million. Yeah, and they have a morale as well. Okay. Um, you how, also. How high or how low is the morale? <laughs> yeah. Uh, right now it's out of uh, 13 of 20. If it goes any lower than like ten, yeah, it might start to get a little they might serious. Have a mutiny. <laughs> I'm wondering if we should boost the morale okay. somehow. We need to. Uh, yeah, we need to work on this. What's yeah? Uh, um, how many? Invent, in, inventory yeah, uh, check? Uh, one one second though before you continue oh, yeah, your sure. perception roll, um, Kader. You 14, do yeah. make out looking into the distance this little speck. Your best guess is that it's some sort of little island, or just some some sort of shore yeah probably just a little bit of land which is uh coming up on you within the next probably ha uh, yeah half day or the next couple of hours okay so i make my way down from the crow's crow's nest and i uh, i ask some of the crew members look 
Where's Blackwater? Who's who's seen who's seen Blackwater? Um, they like rum rummage around and uh, Blackwater. Where are you currently? <laughs> what is Blackwater um, currently doing? <laughs> just at the front of the ship, on deck, looking out. Yeah, she, yeah. looking out. Yeah. So this this um, burly guy kind of like just points forward without saying a word towards the bow. Is it the bow? Yeah, the bow of the ship, that's the front, yeah. That's the bow. Back to the stern. I need to get my nautical term straight. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And he's standing there right looking sense. out to the sea. So I just I just relay the information onto uh, Blackwater, detailing that I presume it's an island. I can't be entirely sure as of yet, but maybe we should change course slightly to avoid... Um, coming uh, into contact with it or at, l or at least um, so we hmm. can have a vantage point as we approach it you kind of also see off to the side sitting on a little stool um, Budge the turtle is basically sitting there and you see like his, his little leg stump uh, he uh, the uh, clawed like iron foot he has he like kind of like screwed it off and is currently just like rubbing it a little bit <laughs> can I um, because morale is low can I take his stub and use it to uh, to crack the bell to <laughs> to get <laughs> <laughs> to ring the bell and, and get everyone's attention um, why do you do yeah, hang on stump? one second because <laughs> imagine Imagine the the sound of that thing. Yeah, that's, that's the sound of that thing. And, so uh, and you, hopefully, I'm I'm hoping it's it's like a humorous display. You kind of well like see the thing. you see the the his <laughs> leg. The, 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 the one eye patch he's on, and then and the other eye kind of like following you, as, um, looking as <laughs> as you go. Um, make a little make a yeah persuasion check for me, Kadir. <sighs> Please, man, it's gotta be a twenty. Let me have this. Just <laughs> natural one. <laughs> oh god, you break the turtle's leg. Oh, All no, right, no, no, no. great. My bad, my bad. I, uh, with my bad. So you, you, you take the the um the the <laughs> the poor claw foot of um of 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 fudge, and you kind of like. Try using it, smacking against the wall. Immediately, the the bell it gives like this loud cling, and you see the the bell itself that just like falls to the ground, <laughs> and you just stand there with like the Omen. this this uh, <laughs> this piece of iron, looking uh, at the bell that's fallen down, and kind of at the crew. Uh, at this point, all of them like stop what they were doing and are like, looking at you expectantly. And I say, well, you all look stumped. Ha ha ha. Oh, man. Perfect for, oh, a, perfect for a natural one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's like, Kadir, you see like this one, pun. this one human, human uh, looking sailor. Um, also, his skin like very old and, and wrinkly, but like burnt from the sun. Like very dark, and he's just ah ah ah. The only guy that starts like laughing, and then I, he just I, I, I uh, stops in. and and uncorks another bottle and starts yeah. drinking. Uh, yeah. I join in the laughter like it's the funniest thing that Branwolf has ever heard. Ah, and uh, I'm going to I'm going to try to save the morale this way. And uh, um, how many you said we we're 15 people? How many men? How many crew? Without 13, us, right? Thirteen. Uh, right now, you're you're at oh, no, twelve. No, but the thing is, like you, uh, you cannot like raise the morale. Is there anything specific you want to do? But the action of yeah, raising the morale is something which is exclusive to the first mate as a role. Well, the first mate can uh, only do that. Okay, yeah. then then uh, I take take Kader aside, 
So drop down the bottle for a moment. I know it's very hard for you. And I slip him. <laughs> or, already, I already distracted. Uh, I've subtracted him from my, from my thing because I'm so filthy rich as always. I give him 13 singular gold pieces, and maybe you know okay. just kind of like tell the tell the crew that you know there's more of this where we're going to be, and a gold piece for each man who keeps up the good work. You know maybe that the first mate can do that. So. Let me give that okay. to Kader. Um, make a perception check, uh, Brown Wolf. Okay. Or basically, all, all of you make a perception check, actually. I've got sure. a 17. Oh, God. Six, uh, I've got a 21. Eight, okay. 18 for Kader. Oh, good. Oh, are you one. there? Are you there? Or what? Natural one. 18 for Kader and for Leon? 21. 21. Okay. 17. Freon, you are the only one who sees this as Branwolf is kind of like holding up the gold and telling of these riches and that there's more of them. You hear like uh, some, some whispers among somewhere in the crew, something along the lines of, yeah, I bet there's more where that came from. And similar uh, little sentences that are exchanged. And then they kind of like all, without looking too, like, without looking too impressed, uh, continue on with their jobs. But they, but they all take a gold piece a piece from from the first mate. Um, are you are you uh, ready to join in? Um, Tiala, yes. Can you pop up? Captain pop up. Blackwater, you might want to keep <laughs> yes, an yes. eye on your crew. Yeah. What's that? I just spent there 13 gold pieces for some, nothing. <laughs> there were some well, the, whisperings going on. It's uh, are you are you doing this on deck? Yeah, well I stepped to him. And okay. I mean I'm not talking kind out loud in front of him. the crew. Yeah. Oh look there, there are whispers on the uh, maybe, among the crew, you maybe, see? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should I kill them? Um <laughs> yeah, there were some I, I I'll take him aside a bit though, so that right. the crew doesn't doesn't really hear it. And tell them that there's some whispers among the crew, like when Branwolf and um, Kader <clears throat> shared the gold. That mm -hmm. I don't know. It sounded like people wanting to take gold from Branwolf. Mm -hmm. It was one of the oh. one of the half elves, one of the dwarves, and several humans. That, mm. like four to four or five people, I heard. Mm -hmm. Maybe okay. you need to um, take care I, of that as captain. You know, uh, while you while you you are talking to Blackwater, um, suddenly this huge um, shark emerges to the left side of the ship, kind of like almost looking as if it would land <laughs> <laughs> land on on deck. But while doing so gracefully, you see. Uh, Tiala, who changes back into her um, humanoid form. Um, Tiala, would you maybe give us a brief description of what you look like for those who, since we all kind of uh, at the beginning of our session explained how we how we look, what we do. <laughs> the gods have given Can us a sign. Yes. yes, yes, she is here. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hey, welcome. Uh, well, I'm a, a woman. I'm an elf, a redhead. And yes. That's and it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and a druid, so I was a shark before. Yeah. Yeah, basically Tiala was out like these past few days just scouting around in her shark form. Uh, accompanying the ship and now she's also back um what did i miss yeah in case you want to get her up to speed <laughs> all all of the crew is now like looking at the druid at this display I mean, of that must i mean come on that must, have, that must have really been an eye-opener i mean the crew probably i don't know do they are they used to seeing yeah, you, people you do get the you, you do hear like a, there's a lot of whispering going on and some stuff also about ooh, magic uh, stuff yeah like there's the, more uh, of that stuff. too <laughs> <laughs> not just gold uh. <laughs> Duh. perfect 
So, <laughs> regarding what you were talking to me about, Freon, I would wish them good luck taking more gold from Branwolf, because I don't think that's going to happen. I know that yeah. that's uh -huh. probably not going to happen, but I don't know if dissent among the crew is that great. Yeah, no, that's yeah. definitely a, definitely a good point. But I think too, it could be risky to even start to uh, blame them. Oh if no, no, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't blame anyone. Just no. I don't know. Keep an eye on those few that started mm. whispering, yeah. and if they whisper more, just throw them overboard or something like that. Mm. It's well, ugly. threatening. Can I, kill them? I don't know if threatening is a good idea. <sighs> Uh, Kader, that throat. one island that you saw, was it big enough to kind of host any civilization or anything like that? Um, <laughs> it, it looked, um... Uh, it, it was hard to tell from this beautiful. distance still, Yeah, like how big it really was. You saw it was something and you were sure that it's definitely a landmass, but you're not quite sure um, what exactly, uh, how, how big it is since you're still a couple hours off. Uh, at the same time, um, Fudge kind of like still looking at Kader, uh, holding out <laughs> his his hand for the please give for him back his, his foot. <laughs> God's reason, give the man his foot. May I? <laughs> he asks. Fudge, you old scallywag. Of course. <laughs> My apologies, good sir. It was just to get their attention. You know what these swashbucklers are like. And he, he kind of like ignoring Kader, but turning towards Blackwater, he says, You know what might get the crew a little bit off edge? Drink. If you give us some Drink. shore leave. Shore leave? Okay. Some what? Some shore leave. Shore leave. Yeah. Some, All right. Maybe, some maybe we should. Oh, shore maybe, leave, shore leave. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe we should. Some uh, shore leave. Thank you. How far off our course is this island, exactly? It yeah, seems to kind, be directly kind of also ahead of looks, us, right? Yeah, yeah, he kind of also right looks there, in the yeah. direction. Doesn't seem too off to me. Alright. I say we slowly advance and keep a good eye on it to see if it's... I don't know, civilized in some way. Uh, or even maybe a threat to us, yeah. and if not, we'll just yeah, I'll, hop off board for I a bit. can send out Tara to have a look at the island ahead of us. Mm -hmm. If that makes I sense. I love that idea. Hell yeah. Alright, you wanna do that? Yes, I'll send Tara off. Okay, so the ethereal-like form of your familiar owl um pops up and you send her off the side of the ship into the direction. Um, give me a perception check, a general one. Um, her attributes? Yes, her attributes. Uh, hang on. Oh, look, it's a natural one. <laughs> a natural <laughs> one. Third one, my god. <laughs> You, uh, kind of like Tara goes off into the direction, um, and she seems to, for some reason, gets, like, caught up in some of the, uh, the fog itself, uh, near being, like, this close to the foglands, and it's hard to, like, really make out how, uh, big the island is as she then, like, returns to you, so you'll definitely know in, like, a couple hours. Uh, once you get closer to it. Good job. <laughs> it was worth a shot. <laughs> Alright, so getting closer to uh, this speck of land, you do see it's definitely an island, um, which is coming up on the right-hand side of the ship, um, slightly, maybe like one or two, two miles off course, uh, probably only like one. Um, and the island itself seems to be pretty, like, not small, but also not big. So it's basically, it's, it would probably would be habitable. You see uh, stretches of a big, like, forest um, area that uh, that's, like, visible across most of it and some hillands before it. 
on your side where you're at right now. I mean, looks good enough to take, I don't know, a good day or two. Well, maybe just a day break, maybe. What does every, everyone else think? Yeah, I think yeah. it's a good idea. Do we need Definitely. to... <laughs> Most of the crew members are like, yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> like, we, very, um, very eager to get off the ship for a yeah. day or two. <laughs> Should yeah, we probably. scout for water, for fresh water and food and rations and things like that while we're <clears throat> there? Coconuts or whatever. <laughs> we, we should be covered, right? Yeah, but usually we have, we have like fresh water, water always... barrels and stuff. Yeah. Okay. I also okay. can produce water if we need some. Oh, oh, so... Damn. <laughs> I can produce All right. water. And wine? I can <laughs> I produce can't do water wine, every, sorry. Couple... <laughs> every couple of minutes. I have to produce water. <laughs> so uh, Fudge kind of goes up to you, Blackwater, and says, Well, Captain. Um, how far do you intend us to bring in the ship? <laughs> that is a very good question. Um, I mean, the crew is ready and at your disposal. How far are we right now? You're currently about... Um, I would say you've probably gotten like it's a, about 500 feet from the shoreline itself. How? I, I'm assuming we have, which is two no. a, around around a little less than 200 meters in <laughs> European <laughs> measurements. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, do we have one? Oh god, I don't know. And the you name see the it, the these... the like without really waiting for the order, they're already like hoisting the sails to just like to not keep pushing past it. But they are mm -hmm. like uh, bracing the ship yeah. to stop and yeah. drop the yeah, anchor yeah. on your command. Yeah, give the order. I mean, two hundred meters is not really swimmable, is it? No, we, don't we? Have, I mean, uh, it, is, it is swimmable, yeah, but yeah, you do yeah, you do you have, have like a little rowboat in yeah, in the boats? back. There's yeah. one single one, yeah. Yeah. In, enough for 15 people, I assume. The we robot go, itself probably trips. fits. It fits around five. Yeah, okay. Perfect. We'll just make multiple trips. Who, whoever wants to swim, swims. We'll just stay here, drop anchor as soon as we are at a decent okay. stopping speed. You see uh, that fudge kind of like kicks the uh, anchor lock with his uh, claw foot. And it just and you and you hear this big splash of the anchor and the chain just going down and down and down and like uh, stopping shortly after because uh, you are pretty close to shore. Um, most of the crew just like starts jumping in the water and starts swimming towards the island, leaving uh, the rest of you behind on on the ship. Uh, yeah, maybe we should take some. Food, some rations with us on the robot. Shouldn't, shouldn't some people stay on board? Yeah, definitely. Maybe Fle Fle Flesky is currently currently uh, already starting to pack some stuff. I yeah. need some lunch packages. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> but by now, like looking at it, it is now pretty. It's like late afternoon okay. from from the time of day. All right, I would say we depart in the morning of the day after tomorrow, so the you, early morning. You see Flesky starting to calculate after the day. I'll, I'll stay on the ship. And, uh, <laughs> I'll, he's... I'll stay as well. I'll stay as well. Yeah. I'm going to stay as well because I want to catch Blackwater alone. I want to have a talk with him. Nothing. All right. It's nothing so what's uh, from, Tiala? What are you nothing doing? Nothing secret from the group, but I want to ask him something. I'm doing a short to... rest to regain my uh, beast white shape stuff. I, 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 yeah, I would assume you would have done that in the time already okay. going there. But uh, what are you doing now? Are you also joining uh, the crew? I don't know who's uh, going, who's island, not going. Or... I'm, I'll, I'm I'll going. Kadera's intrigued. I'm yeah. I'll, t I'll take down. the next boat. I'll take the next boat. I just want to. Yeah, currently, show... the boat is still here. 
It's like uh, just uh, you see the old uh, the old gnome. He is currently mm -hmm. still still on the ship, kind of like cleaning his toenails uh, <laughs> with what looks to be like a little knife. And um, there's like uh, the odd two or three people that are still on the ship, uh, tying uh, stuff uh, like uh, fastening the the sail ropes and uh, and things. Um, but yeah, so the rowboat is still unused and can be used at yeah. any time because the rest of the crew they just like darted off swimming there directly. <laughs> is it just getting on? to like stretching those muscles? I'm gonna approach Excuse Blackwater is... very fast and say, ha "Hang on, hang on, hang on." Yeah. Tiala wanted to do something first. Is it warm like tropical, or is it more? The weather colder? currently is like pretty like warm. But um, there's like a fresh wind blowing, okay. so it's not hot. It's like actually very comfortable in terms of weather. And there's like a cloudless sky above you. There's like a few little, like a few little odd clouds here and there, but the most prominent feature is far off to the right hand side of you, um, towards the west, where you see this large wall of fog that is the entrance towards the fog lands so yeah but are you taking the ship or are you also just like darting off okay and Rion, Kader well I'm not jumping in the water I'm taking all my stuff with me so all right I'll I don't know Kader do you have any clue how to work one of those rowboats? Kader has already jumped in, I'm afraid. Cool! <laughs> so I'm staying on the ship! Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so it's not I'm, gonna I'm be go the I'm single, just... single dwarf. No, fuck, fuck this, I'm just gonna no, go no. grumbling and sit in some corner and, and gonna continue no, no, reading no. my books. I'll, 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 I'll help oh, you row the boat right away. We can go together with the captain. I just wanna ask him something. I wanna show him, because he has that shield, you know? And I want to show him, or show the shield, this glowing um, um, weapon that we found in the statue, if the shield recognizes it. But I didn't want to do that in front of the whole crew and everything. And, you know, that's why I wanted to take him aside and do that. And as soon as that shield recognizes or says something, then we can, then we can uh, take the boat. I'll, I'll, gladly, I'll gladly row us all ashore. And here's the captain. But don't you don't you want someone to stay on the ship? I I would say I can stay. You, you hear like from from my... the back the little gnome. Ay! Yeah, Flesk is staying, right? Flesk is also on Flesk the boat. Flesk is yeah. staying, yeah. Mm -hmm. You see him currently like standing not on the bow but like on the back side of the ship, just smoking yeah. a pipe and looking out to the ocean towards the island. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, he's I, like, like you, you 15, didn't hear this. 20 feet away from you guys. You didn't guys. hear this, Blackwater. I just told uh, my free on my plan. I'll, I'll row us all ashore uh, gladly. And uh, I just wanted to uh, catch you alone very fast without the whole crew. Mm -hmm. Because you do have the shield with you. Or in your quarters yes. or somewhere. Yeah. I, Always with me, yes. Yeah, I would like to, you know, maybe aside on the stern or down at the captain's quarters or somewhere, I'd like to show the shield, the glowing mace that we found inside the statue, which was glowing, and we think it's probably either an angelic or a, or a weapon from hell or something, and uh, if the... Because we know that this this is the... This is the embodiment of this this Lord who also knows, um, uh, what was it, Az Azrael? No, what was her name? Zariel. Zariel, and I don't know if 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 it's if the shield recognizes the weapon. I mean, just it's just it's just a shot. It might not even answer. Mm -hmm. It might not say anything, and we might think. I mean, yeah, it's just worth it's, a try. I... Yeah, definitely. I'm, yeah. I'm curious myself. Okay. So, um, so going aside... Should we do that right now? I was just going to do it right now before before we leave, but, you know, just for the just for the hell of it. Because we, 
What is that? Who's that? The, that, the, that Fritz? That's the, the, the little gnome Fritz, yeah. Bruce. Fritz! Does he, is, he, is he blind or anything? Because, I don't know. Make a perception check. Does he check. only hear us? Or? Okay, yeah, perfect. <laughs> He's Be like right one back, of the one of the last few sitting like in the middle of the deck on the little barrel. Guys, I'll be right back. Four. Two minutes. Hi. 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 <laughs> I, um, I got a four. A four. It's like hard to tell if he's blind because he like squints a lot, mm. like extremely. That's, that's why I asked. Oh, let me ask you very fast, Fritz. Do you want to go ashore or you want to stay here? Nah. I love this ah, is an answer, you said, you're gonna stay. You said you traveled to Black Purge Isle before, right? Aye! Do you know anything about this island? Nah. <laughs> Alright. Good talk. Okay. Yeah. Aye! <laughs> well, they're having their talk. Captain, <laughs> let me ask you something. Let's just have a... Take your... Fuck your... the Brotherhood! <laughs> Join, join your Bozeman downstairs very fast, you know? Gentlemen, you'll excuse you yeah. excuse us. So just we head down and so that we're and then let me show let me get, get you out your shield there. Yep. And I get out mm -hmm. the mace and uh, I don't know, do you contact or does it talk to you? I I don't remember how that works. Or does it just rig Well, let me just let, let me just Try it, yeah. and um, uh, give, I try to reach let me, yeah, the. Let me give you the mace so that you can see it. You holding it and just say if it if it recognizes this. Yeah, you <laughs> you <you're, laughs> uh, you notice the mace. It's like still like glowing very brightly. Yeah, while you're like holding it. Before before contacting the the shields, uh, I would like to just pass my. I may have tried this already, but I think pass you my, did. Magical dagger. Yeah. Like yeah. Around uh, it to see yeah. If it you you up. did, and it did like give a faint little. All right. Okay, uh, so we knew it it's definitely magical. a magical mace. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You right. haven't so, like identified it or anything yet. I try to reach the same mental channel uh, that we used to contact the hidden lord within the shield. All right. Um, um, roll uh, just a straight d20 for me. A four. I didn't get anything above ten yet. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. So you kind this of like sleeping. close your eyes and focus, uh, touching the shield, kind of like trying to get in the same mental space or whatever. You're not entirely certain how it works. Trying to get some sort of connection with it, but it's just silent. You just thrust. Right. So we I'm just not getting, not getting any answer at all. Yeah. No answer. Okay, he might be sleeping. No reaction. I, I mean, he's, it does, he's also usually does, super busy. Yeah, but doesn't it make it like a face or a face react with like a facial expression? I'm just going to hold the the thing real close to the shield, like, like in his face, kind of wave it back and mm -hmm. forth. I mean, yeah, you do reacts. see the, the, the shield itself in its design. You yeah. see, like, this sort of, like, uh, these, yep. what were once ornate elements, kind yeah. of, like, have twist and turn to, to resemble this kind of almost like a grimace. Yeah. Um, you still see that on the shield, but it's not changing or anything. It's not actively. reacting or anything. Okay, that was just it worth It never did, though. Yeah. It, it never did, did react. It doesn't move. No, you know. no, it didn't move or anything. Yeah. It's I just something like while if, focusing if on it, you, you took a little the, while to, to get used to and kind of like seeing the yeah. face in there. But now that you did yeah. it, uh, you definitely can see it like each time yeah. mm -hmm. coming I out just, of it. I just so, I was just um, thinking the Hidden Lord being demonic and maybe that was a weapon. Okay, uh, we tried it. Kader I put it back. and T Tiala, both of you being first um, on the island, you make your way. Um, you see, like, coming up, the I mean, the water itself of the ocean, of the Azure Sea, is cold. Um, but you're, you're glad, uh, because it kind of, like, it's a really good feeling to finally stretch those muscles after the, uh, all those days, almost two weeks on the ship, 
without uh, moving around too much, without walking for longer distances. Um, you now come onto the beach, you see lots of the other crew members that are just like basking in the sun. Kind of like one or two of them brought some bottles with them. They're like talking. Um, others are starting to like explore the uh, reaches of the forest, which is behind the sand uh, bank a little bit. And you do see that the initial like beach area behind it, there's like this, this wall of um, just lush uh, forest, um, several like deep green canopies behind it that seem to just uh, go on for quite some time. It's like, and, and looking to the left and right, like being on the island, it's pretty like big, probably a good trek uh, you you a, a guesstimate if you want to like take a trek around it or, or explore it a little bit. I want to build sand castles. <laughs> All right. But whilst drunk. Um, then give me a. Hmm. <laughs> I would say a general your choice, either intelligence or dexterity check. To see uh, what you're going for. Do you want to make like an intricate sand castle or do you want to like try and even just use the sand to make it uh, properly to not fail? Yeah, I mean, reasonably intricate. Um, a reasonably intricate wine bottle, sand wine bottle. <laughs> All right. And make <laughs> a general, I, I a general I dexterity any, you know, check. I, I swam here, I couldn't pack myself. So it's just, you know. Just a straight dexterity check then. Dexterity. With your with go. your proficiency bonus, if you're proficient in anything de dexterity, a sleight of hand maybe. Oh no, I'm not. Sorry. Okay, then that's it's a, just that's a ten. Yeah. A ten. All right, yeah. you uh, you managed to build like quite a nice little uh, resembling like a bottle that's just like stuck in sand. Um, looking at the uh, like the side, you you start to like inscribe uh, the the signature emblems and, and kind of like fonts you remember being used on the Calor Orchard wine uh, you, you so love. Um, but like starting that immediately there's like this big wave that just like comes crashing in and washes all of it away in the blink of an eye. Aww. And you're like, oh crap. <laughs> yeah, this gloom expression just... Uh... In the me any enjoyment of his activities. In the meantime, I'll offer the rest of the crew, whoever wants to come, the captain, Freon, even Fritz if he wants to, and of course Tiala. Uh, I'll, I'll roll them nah. out. Okay. Anybody want to get All in right, the boat? So you oh, roll them there, oh, yeah, I'll take, I'll and you take also join, join the uh, the rest of them on, on the coast. <laughs> Yeah, and, and now it's about uh, you're starting to see like behind the island slowly but surely uh, probably sunset is going to start in like another three or four hours. Okay, I can, as both of not I think I'll, I'll try to organize a few folks to get together to start collecting wood to get some, and it's probably the first mate's uh, uh, job to do that, oh, but you know, just kind of help. Wood. I can. We don't cast need wood. A campfire. What? We don't need a campfire. Why not? She can cast a campfire. She said. Oh, okay. Then well, I... cast five campfires. <laughs> no, never mind. I need wood. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me collect well, wood for flame. another campfires. <laughs> Yeah, you can you can make the fire then. When the wood, just that we all, you know, because we probably should, you know, just you see like get a, a group group of three of the crewmates yeah. that kind of walk up to to your troop, mm. kind of asking towards uh, Blackwater, uh, Captain. What's what's the plan for tonight? Are we staying on shore or going back to the boat? Uh, ship. Sorry. You see, like this guy <laughs> that just hits him in the. <laughs> In the in the stomach ship, I mean. We are staying on shore, and we're having a feast tonight. Oh, it, oh okay. So shall we go tell the others? No. Do you yeah. do you need anything? 
<laughs> yeah, the feast. As many people as you can. <laughs> and if you if you want, feel free to hunt any of the of the wild game around here. So sounds good. Uh, and you kind of like one claps his hands together. All right, boys, let's go. And they kind of like dart off, gathering like a few the the odd lazy bunch lying in the sand. And they you see like from a distance, they kind of like look up with bright eyes and immediately stand up and kind of like run with them uh, into into the woods. Now taking taking to... out their their daggers uh, yeah. and 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 uh, small little short swords. Most of them are carrying as well. I'm going to use my barbaric uh, skill, which I have to to um, gather food, water, anything which I find a game. All right, give me a survival check with uh, survival? with advantage, since you are, I believe, you have your favorite terrain. Uh, yeah, my favorite feature. terrain is, is, I think, it's woods. So, but. Um, but yeah, that, that's that's, that's fine big. enough because okay. there is like plenty so, of wood around. <laughs> believe it or not, both both with a nine. Where's my uh, survival? Survival is oh plus three. That's good. Okay, so yeah, both were a nine. So that would be twelve. Twelve. A twelve. All right. Um, is. Is anybody joining you on like the I hunt? Or is anybody I else hunting? for herbs and stuff. Mushrooms, I don't know. Okay. Stuff like that. I'll, I'll join Branwolf as it's getting darker a bit. He probably mm-hmm. needs mm-hmm. someone who can see a bit better. I mean, yeah, in the, in the forest in the itself, forest, it's yeah. kind of getting a little bit dim yeah. from the light. It's still not dark, but it's starting to, to get a little bit dim since the sun is going. Uh, further down and down. Okay, so anybody else joining the hunting party? Or what are the rest of you doing? Blackwater and Kadir. Uh, I am gonna help Flesky cook all of the game that's gonna be hunted. Okay, yeah. uh, right right now everybody's like still out uh, yeah, hunting. Yeah. So it's you're gonna later. stay yeah. on the uh, on the shoreline. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, you do see, like, kind of like a little bit down the beach, that some of the crew are already co- collecting some some wood. Um, they're kind of like stacking it together, almost looking like a large bonfire or something like that. Um, uh, Kader, what were you doing? I just want to socialize with some of the crew members. You know, All right. that means like helping them with. Whichever task they're doing, then that's fine Sh- as well. Sure. Um, yeah. Do another um, another charisma check with advantage this time. Sure thing. Because the crew is already in a much better mood. Charisma. So first is eighteen. Alrighty. Ooh, second is twenty-three. So wow. twenty-three it is. Awesome. Okay. So you go ahead and definitely. Most of them uh, seem to be in a bit uh, in a bit lighter mood now after talking to them, after uh, them now having the ability to stretch their legs and also with the expectant uh, feast that's coming up. Um, Branwolf, Freon and Tiala, you start to move into the woods. Um, you search around about like 20 minutes or so walking into the wood. Tiala, you find like uh, several little bushels of nice little herbs that are perfect for seasoning, especially uh, to your knowledge. Um, at the same moment, you all kind of like standing close to each other while Tiala's cutting down one of the bushels. Um, Freon, you spot something away um, like in, in the distance um, you only see like the the rear end of it there seems to be you see like these two pair pair of legs and like this bent back of some sort of you're not quite sure if it's like a uh, an, an, uh, some, some sort of like game animal or like an elk or a horse or something like that 
it's too far off in the distance, but you immediately like um, uh, stop before moving further into this direction. Yeah, I'll, I'll point that out to who's close to me, Branwolf and Tiala. Branwolf is oh, right yeah. next to yeah, you. Yeah, then, he, he, he hasn't yeah. seen it yet. Then I'll, I'll point it out to him and shh. Okay. There's something running over there. I'm, I'm. It's like, yeah, it's, it's not running. It's just standing ah, still, almost like if it's grazing or something. There's you can't something really see. Standing still over yeah, there. Yeah, you, you can't okay. see the, the 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 full like animal, uh, just like the the rear end of it. Should I make a perception if I recognize what kind yeah. of butt I see? <laughs> uh, sure, give me a perception roll. Yeah. Or actually, no, this would be like nature. Give me a nature roll. Nature. Well, that's uh, nature. What do I have with nature? Do I have anything plus on nature? I think so. Um, Natura. That is. Oh, yeah, plus one. That's 15. 15. Mm -hmm. um, it's about, like you would say, almost maybe almost like 50 or so feet away and it's hard to make out you're certain it's definitely some sort of like animal okay but it's but it's hard to since you can't make up like the full shape of it you just see like the the rear two legs and you do also um kind of make out what looks to be like a, a tail or mane so you're guessing okay. more towards either like either a very large um some sort of elk or something with weird mm -hmm. hair, or maybe like a horse. Can't quite ma like pinpoint it. You think it's edible? I'm wondering if it's either edible, not just edible. It's just if it's not something like, uh, you know, like a half, half man, half animal, like a centaur or something. Uh, that, that we stumbled across some kind of other intelligent being, you know, that we attack something and we're attacking it's not a not, not like a some food source but like a, of course we're whispering this <laughs> um, i'm going to i'm i think I, i'm just gonna make not a real noise but just kind of like walk towards it's cracking it if it skitters away okay, you, so you're you're stealthing towards it you can roll a stealth yeah. check then stealth and anybody check. who wants to like join him can do I'm the same coming thing to that. Okay. I got a 10. I'm staying where I am. I'm not the stealthiest. Yeah, I'm... Okay, so Branwolf, what did you roll? A 10. 10? Okay. Mm, Are you really kidding that me? that stealthy either. 21. 21. <laughs> All right. flies towards it. Well, I'm a wood elf, so... <laughs> yeah. So, um... Both of you kind of get like another five feet closer. Brambolf like snack snaps a twig, <laughs> but it doesn't seem Sorry. like the the animal or what whatever it is that has like hurt it. It's still like in place with its back to you, uh, even behind some some bushes and bushels uh, to uh, further towards. Um, in, in front my of barbaric and you come like smells. closer my barbaric another 10 feet or so smell it's like trap. still another 30 to 40 feet away mm -hmm. no. but it hasn't I noticed you yeah I smell a trap I smell a trap I smell I don't I don't I don't trust it I'm not I'm I mean not gonna go uh, like uh, coming coming closer now you do see that it's it's definitely like moving it's doing something with the front of its body. You're not sure if it's like eating or something, but you do see like some movement um, going on. It's not like just a carcass or whatever. It's definitely a, 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 uh, a live um, whatever so it is. It, so it's not just propped up like, you know, like here, take this no. and then the it's big It's just like it's, it's behind, yeah. like there's like a canopy from above and some, 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 some like shrubs. Uh, in front of it, and all you can see is just like this this rear little glimpse of it behind like all this greenery since the forest is pretty dense are, are, are we even supposed to be hunting for food? 
I was scavenging for, for berries and stuff, but I guess I'm supposed to be finding meat too, so. But I can't, I don't, I don't have any distance, uh, any range weapons. <laughs> you can hunt with axes. <laughs> yeah, I can throw an axe at it and see what happens, but. <laughs> the skill thing way to hunt. <laughs> I, I guess so, do okay. I have a short bow, I think. You have a yeah, sharp yeah, bow. Yeah, you definitely can have a sharp bow. Can anybody stun it or something? Somebody have something like I a can pot try. Eagle? Can you try to zap it, stun it or something? Yeah, I, I can, would like I can. to see what it okay. is first before I kill it. Well, I can, no, I can no. try to put it to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, that's just it. Yeah, because it was, yeah. That's a good idea. Let Freon try to put it to sleep. Yeah, I'll cast sleep then on that. Pores. <clears throat> All right. Uh, what's the range on? Uh, Ninety feet. Ninety feet. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're definitely uh, close enough. Um, so. Okay. Hang it's on. a saving throw. No, I need to roll five d eight first ah, uh, for gotcha, the yes. hit points. Ah, oh, hang on. Uh, not five. And it was like. Uh, I can. Hang on. I cast it as a second level spell. Gotcha. Just need to look up sleep again. There we go. Uh, Twenty-one. Uh, twenty-six. Twenty-six in total. Yes. So you focus on. I'll focus the, it on the Yeah, creature. the buttocks of whatever this creature <laughs> is. Make his butt um, And um, you kind of like see the both back legs of it like kind of shifting as if uh, it kind of like would like slip, but it catches itself and it then putum 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 darts ah, away. Damn it. Hmm. Off further into the wood. But can we see what it is yeah. when it darts Did away? Get yeah, it better? It give me. Um, yeah, all of you give me a perception check. 14. 7. <laughs> <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> oh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> 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 the, they, they are now starting to get the fire going, Kader, and it's like, looking pretty hey. good. <laughs> it gives off a nice little warmth, and it goes really yeah. well with like the sunset. Wonderful. Any liquor in, inside? Uh, no. Crew members still seem to be pretty cool about it. Um, Blackwater, you're getting the sense that whatever is being hunted, they're kind of like bringing it towards the fire. It's like small little hairs. Uh, there's some 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 squirrels. People have found a few uh, exotic looking birds. Um, one even uh, brings in like a like a, a total of three of the crew members. They haul in like this little boar they found, Perfect. and they are Hunts. making their their way Shrimps. on skinning it. But they definitely they're not like gonna haul that to the ship. But they are planning on making and pairing it on the island. Perfect. That's the plan. Um, so yeah, so what was it? Was it 14 uh, any, or anything 14, higher? 16. Yeah. 16 for... and Freon? 19. 19, okay. Um, darting off, you very briefly see... Uh, you can't quite make out the shape, but something much larger is a part of the front of this creature. And it like doo -doo 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 darts away on you. are definitely sure it definitely has four legs. So it could have been maybe something like a mythical creature, like a centaur or, or a fawn or something like that. Well, it has four legs. Yeah. Okay. It didn't really yeah. react to my spell, which is a bit odd. Yeah, the, maybe. Yeah, the way it like kind of like darted magical. off was more of a. It might have like noticed something's off or something is here, and it's just like instinct or something kicking in, running, uh, running away. 
oh well, then let's see whatever berries and stuff, whatever we found, head back to the rest of the group. Um, Tiala, mm -hmm. give me a nature check. Where's nature? Uh, 21. 21. While you're, like, looking off uh, towards where this creature has fled, you hear, like, this little, almost like a breeze going through the uh, the trees, and the, the leaves are all, like, uh, glistening and, and just giving this loud shh going through. And it carries a kind of... Um, like a feeling with it, which you kind of, like... Uh, sort of like receive of somehow the forest itself not looking pleasantly onto what you've just tried. I think we made the forest angry. Oh boy. What, what well, do you then mean we made the forest angry? I don't know, I just kind of get the feeling that the trees are angry at us. Mm -hmm. For trying to hunt whatever this was. Um, Blackwater and Kader, you now see most of mm -hmm. the crew members. They have um, like uh, re-arrived at the at the shore, um, but your friends, they're still not there. They still seem to be hunting their no, prey or searching for it. Yeah, we're heading back. How long has it been? It's been about, like, while well, the rest of them have now uh, returned, or uh, maybe, like, after 45 minutes to an hour, um, of which are also guessing that the they might have not gone in as deep, and they have found, like, little critters and, and stuff. Uh, each, like, like, most of them probably just trying to sustain themselves, and maybe, like, they're... they're uh, uh, the one next to them, but um, yeah, it's been about like an hour or so, and most of them are gathering, and the fire is going, and there the others are like starting to skin, and yeah. you're starting to like look back to the forest, wondering where the are rest we lost is. or can we make our way back? Because we we figured that depends on what you guys want to do. Well, we're going to head back. I further said in, you're, you're, no. you're, you're getting the sense you ventured further in than the rest of. Yeah, we should. We should other. head back. We're going to head back. I'm not going to. All you got so far gonna... was um, just herbs for seasoning. That's good enough. And, yeah, perfect. and a few little mushrooms. That's good. As Whatever. a side dish. I don't think. I, I <laughs> don't think mushrooms. we should. I don't think wasn't, we should. Wasn't anything fancy. Going to make a nice mushroom <laughs> soup. After the warning from. Um, the warning from Tiala, I'm not going to worry about going in deep ration. We should head back. Yeah, let's head back. I'm going to apologize yeah. to the trees and then we can go. You're going to apologize to the trees? That's nice. That's a good idea. I put a big okay. ditto on that. Sorry. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> okay, Just so you guys turn around and uh, make your way towards the shoreline um I th yeah Freon you know, probably since you're farthest in, in the back the other two have gone off uh, a little um you suddenly see movement ahead of you there's like a behind uh, behind one of the the trees you see this tall uh bare chested man, this humanoid stepping uh, in front of the tree uh, with a short bow drawn and holding it towards you. You see like this long mane of black hair going down uh, the backside and behind him revealing uh, the rest of the body, body of a horse ah! as, he, it. as he steps out. And he kind of like just silently aims aims the bow at you, like aware that you are looking at him as well. And you, uh, Branwolf, to the left of you, you hear another twig snap. There's like another figure as well, this time blondish kind of hair, thick beard, um, mm -hmm. also uh, a short bow in the hand. 
Tiala, behind you two others appear, short bows in hand, one of them a woman with uh, long, lavish black hair, uh, also covering the otherwise bare chest and upper body. Um, and they all kind of point their arrows towards you, a total of four centaurs. Mm-hmm. I kind of raise my I kind of raise my hands and said in, in what I think because I recognize that these are like masters of the woods these are these are the we probably trespassed we didn't want to trespass we were just looking for food and we didn't want to attack we just tried we weren't too sure if we were being in danger that's why we tried we didn't attack we just tried to a sleep, a sleep spell. We didn't want to do anything else. Okay. And, uh, um, I don't know if they understand what I'm saying or not. Tiala, but, uh, you speak Sylvan, right? Yep. And I'm go. going to yeah. bow because that seems appropriate. Yeah. Okay. So, and so I you lay my hands away from them. my weapons. Um, Tiala, you notice the the one uh, blonde uh, centaur with the beard. He kind of like without breaking eye contact with you nudges his head towards the the one with the black mane and says something along the lines of what is the tall one talking about and he just replies in a very i mean what you hear is a very interesting mix of language it's a very eloquent way almost like it's not quite singing but it kind of like sounds very Mm -hmm. melodic does Freon it's pre- understand it's, them? It's, since it's, pretty, is... it's prettier than Irish, though. No? <laughs> um, I thought you can. Oh, you can the... read everything. Yeah. Ah. He can, can read, read everything, yeah. Okay. So uh, Tiala is the only one who understands them since okay. she speaks Sylvan as well. And they um, kind of like seem to be exchanging, and he says, No, I do not understand what this one is speaking of. And, um, Still got my hands up. You, so the, looking. you see the, the, the woman from the back uh, just says, What shall we do with them? Shall we bring them to him? And um, the, the guy... You're getting the sense that the leader of these four is the one, like in front of Rhea, the one with the black dark hair uh, swept back. Can I pitch in and be like, I'm sorry, what my friend tried to say is... Uh, we are just here for a short break and just wanted to fetch something to eat and we... Uh, well, it's kind of embarrassing, but we thought you were a deer or something. We could not get a good glimpse, but yes, we are really sorry for intruding like this in your land. We thought this island was not civilized. You see, the uh, at the mention of um, like deer, you hear the woman like chuckling snarkishly a little bit and just saying, "She thought you were a deer." <laughs> and um, the 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 dark one then speaks up and kind of like uh, like walking a little bit uh, past, not towards Freon, but towards the side to get closer to you. As uh, Are you still bowing? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But looking a little up, you know. Mm-hmm. Kind of like says, where do you come from? From Hawkins Gate. I don't know if you know that place. He kind of like looks to to the rest of the others, and they all just like not uh, shake their head. Um, and he says, "You are not from this island." No, obviously not. <laughs> are you with the men on the beach? Yes, these are our men. Why did they do something bad? Why are your men killing the living souls on the soil? Well, they were trying to fetch some meat to eat. 
you see, they are not vegetarian like some of us. <laughs> well, well, she's true. That is no excuse for killing innocent lives. The ground and the earth will sustain us just as good without taking from each other. I do agree, and I showed a mushroom and the herbs I collected. Give me a persuasion check. A persuasion. 15. 15. Oh, that's quite good for me. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's head back and tell everyone kind of to get like back all... on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, uh, Freon and Branwolf, you just see Tiala starting to talk in this weird um, language. Yeah, we, we don't uh, understand Brand anything. Wolf out of out of the sight. Do, do you know what they're talking about? I don't understand what they talk, but it seems like they're. She looks like she's explaining because she's pointing towards us and and showed her the mushrooms. I think they probably didn't want us. The to blonde hunt one here. with the with the beard uh, says, uh, "Yellow, you hear this uh, again." The tall one is speaking again. <laughs> He's making noises. What shall we do with them? And um, the black one goes, we shall bring them to him. Let him decide. Who's the him you're talking about, no. if I may ask? The great soul. I don't know what that you is. Not. You are not from here. Yes. And you have started killing innocent souls. You must be judged. By the great soul. Got it. <laughs> and they start to like you now see that they are starting to like form this uh, kind of like wall around you closing in and kind of like still pointing the arrows towards you nudging you in a direction towards more uh into the wood could we not, so I'm not moving and then i'm not moving i no. don't know what they're saying so i'm gonna get a spell ready yeah and i, and I you, don't understand uh, what as you saying. as you make your 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 spell ready uh the 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 blonde one with the beard kind of like uh uh snarks and then kind of like rears up and um i take my the, bow back is ready the one with uh, with the black black hair immediately like draws and points towards tiala tell them to lay down their weapons yeah can i be like whoa, whoa and then i switch to like normal language and explain yeah. everything that's going on and if maybe i don't know freon can send a message to blackwater or something or does he have to be closer I yeah think. i can send can i can send my owl yeah that would be great just like i think we should go with them but we should also uh, let somebody well, know. Yeah, but uh, what I is believe the, do, do you know what this this great soul is they are talking yeah, about? And, and no, why are they no. raising weapons You kind of get like, like the 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 centaurs themselves seem like very uneasy, but the um, the woman among them she kind of like gets the sense that you're trying to convey this, and you hear that she's like kind of like giving. The leader, the same, the saying they are talking it out. They do not understand us. Give them some time. And but they are all like very close and all have their short bows uh, drawn. Especially the the leader one who's like has it right in your face and kind of like shifts it between you and Freon. Hmm. Um. <laughs> yeah, not uh, cool. No. Um. Tiala, can you tell what them you that if they Tiala, I'm telling talking to Tiala, Tiala, can you tell them in Sylvan that if they're if they point their weapons at us, you know, we will defend ourselves. They have to understand that. We don't want to fight. But if they draw lower their weapons, we can lower our weapons. And then we can talk about this and um you know, the problem is that we would have to tell our uh, you know, our um, friends that 
Because if we don't come back, they're going to have 15, 20, I don't know how many men scourging through the forest. And that's the problem right there. You know, I tried. 250. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the cannons. 250 men of and the cannons. cavalry stand and, ready. And Crazy Fritz. We'll let Crazy Fritz out if they don't do that. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, the Crazy Fritz comes. Yeah, can, can you tell them that? I can try. Relay, so I'm yeah, gonna, relay that to them. I'm going to try to. I'll send back Tara to Blackwater to the beach to yeah. tell okay. him. Um, about our little meeting here. <laughs> if they don't try to shoot her down. Yeah, then I'm how, gonna start. How this. many How many hit points does Tala have? Um, <laughs> are they shooting at her? Are they shooting How her? many hit points does yeah, Tala I'm have? Looking, hang on. <laughs> Three. Five million. I mean, if Three. you're if you're tr- uh, starting to like cast something. No, no, I'm like, not normally... casting anything. I mean, no, she just, she, my familiar she just is yeah, just there. Isn't yeah, isn't uh, summon away. familiar a spell itself? Sorry. Uh, summon familiar. No, or I don't need to summon called? her. Oh, you mean she was with you yeah, this yeah, whole yeah. time? Yeah, yeah, she was scouting, and then she's okay. back with him. So you just tell her to fly off. Yeah, and like tell Blackwater. Blackwater and Kader what's happening here. Okay. Okay, so you send uh, Tara flying off, and the one with uh, the the black mane in front of you, like, kind of like looks at her flying away, but still keeps her bow drawn towards you. Tara goes up through the canopy and out of sight. Good. Um, and I'm trying to explain, like, yeah. that my friends feel attacked, and that we want to talk with everybody and no attack needed and stuff and uh, yeah that I was just explaining everything to them and that's why we are talking weapons. yeah yeah the um, the blonde one says attacked you say and um, they feel the... in danger so they might do something stupid maybe yeah, you, you get the sense that this, it. like, blonde bearded one is, like, very um, emotional, very uh, aggressive. And uh, the leader of them kind of says, You can either die by our hands right now, here, as intruders, oh, or we we'll bring you to the great soul uh. and you'll be judged. Yes, we're coming with you, that's fine. But also, we. Maybe should let you our friends them. at the beach know that we're gone because if not they will come and maybe they will destroy something. We will take care of your friends Don't on the beach. Hurt Don't our you worry. At the beach. Mm-hmm. And they nudge you towards moving now. Uh, at the same time They still have their weapons. Uh, Blackwater right? and Yeah. yeah still pointed towards you. Tiago and Kadir, as you look towards the forest, you see the little um, eerie-looking, <laughs> glimmering owl that flies towards you Four? and um, mm. lands on mm. Kadir's shoulder. Four? Four? You and me? Four? You can't talk to it or anything, it. right? It's just there. And I'm you, going you, to rage. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you could basic, you could basically also Double like four. slump down and watch through uh, Tara, but you gave her just the command to reach the others. And yeah, she now lands on Kadir's shoulder. Can so I what are Blackwater and Kadir doing? Can I perceive any kind of um, emotion from this creature, honey? Not really. She Sweet. just uh, lands, uh, looking a bit skitterish. She must like land down and flap up and down. And, and I saw, saw which direction she came from. Yeah. You saw okay. like uh, right towards the forest somewhere within. And you guys know that uh, probably know Blackwater. Tara, yeah, this is the f- Tara by now. Yeah, that 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 this yeah, is the first nice. time. This familiar has uh, wanted anything to do. <laughs> There's with no this, secret so. code word. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't worked Squ- one out. Squeaker, squeak, squeakin', 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 squirk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very suspicious. 
of um, of her to to befriend me, as it seems. So um, you think? Yeah, for you probably sure. have a ton of food around you. So think no, I think she she generally feeds off um, Freon's emotion. <laughs> we've, we've had our Freon's standoffs soul. in the past. <laughs> yeah, that explains a lot. <laughs> Holy shit! Exactly. So this this seems to me very untoward and. Um, Suspicious, yeah. I'm, I'm, I feel a certain anxiety about the group. So you think something might have happened to them? It's potential. Why else would this this creature come to me? Uh, ro- roll an insight check for me, Kadir. Sure. Fifty insight. Insight is wisdom sixteen. Sixteen. You definitely yes. get the sense that something's wrong. Okay, so yeah. From like, the way well, uh, she seriously. she she like the owl seems like pretty nervous. She starts like picking her her feathers around uh, as if she feels like dirty, trying to clean herself or whatever. And she kind of like you feel this little grip of her talons on your shoulder tighten as well. Mm. So she seems mm-hmm. nervous. Yeah, that's, I'm reluctant to disturb like anybody's sure leave. Uh, but at yeah, the same yeah time, most man. like looking around, most of the crew they are now in preparation of like uh, grilling uh, most of the meat, and they're having a good time. Maybe I we would... can just leave them to that. And uh, we'll... I would, I would rather at least, at the very least, tell Fudge and Flesky mm. to be aware of anything, potential danger or extra visitors from another side. I don't know. Yeah, Fudge is Something. Fudge is uh, sitting there next to the fire. He uh, he also already put his uh, uh, iron talon, uh, screwed it off, and put it next to him, and is rubbing his his knee again, kind of like just basking in in the warmth of the the hot fire in front of him. I'm gonna tell him and uh, Flesky anyway, just to be aware. Yeah, F- Flesky is still on the ship. He's not with you. He, oh, didn't, sure. he didn't come. He's hoarding guarding the ship who who else of higher authority is with us just budge isn't it um yeah he's well he's your quartermaster that's it yeah from in, right. in terms of in terms of officers you have the quartermaster the first mate and the bosun those are the officers aside from the captain i need i need the first mate with me though uh yeah he, i'll he, just he, tell yeah he, he looks up you need my leg again? <laughs> no, 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 no. The, the first mate's gonna leave you alone for now, at least for the time being, until morale is low again. All right, I cool. <laughs> um, just be careful because some of our crew has not returned from the forest, and something. Oh, really? Could Are be we the- missing anybody? And he like kind of looks around, trying to do like a head count. Where's the tall one and the sharp lady? Definitely. The stronger ones are missing. Which, Mm -hmm. yeah, makes me suspect that something, something could be inside of that forest. And we're going to take a look at it. If you could keep an eye on that direction, and I point to, like, wherever Tara came from, Mm -hmm. um, and just make sure to keep... To warn everyone in case something happens. All right, he kind of like immediately grabs his uh, his iron talon again, screws it back on, kind of like with the help of you, gets back up, uh, looking at the the rest of the crew, uh, saying, "All right, you good deaf and sea dogs, we have a problem." Captain says some of our crew have been taken. And we are to hold this beach, whatever the circumstances. <laughs> yeah. And they, he kind of like starts with the others putting some, uh, taking some of the like longer <laughs> pieces of wood and putting them up like torches along a, a line on the, on the beach. Don't you worry, Captain. We'll keep an eye out. Perfect. And I guess we just start walking towards the direction. All right. So as you walk towards the um, the the uh, 
wall of trees in front of you. And as the three of you, Branwolf, Freon, and Tiala, are kind of like being nudged along deeper into the forest with pointy arrows in your backs. Do we, do to... we see? Do we see the the beach from there? Can, like an no, opening? It's no, like no. it's like too so too we far. Can't in. See, we You're can't like see uh, definitely in. half an hour, mm-hmm. probably a little more inside into okay. the forest. And they, but yeah, they as, they, nudge, as they they kind are of, nudging us with it, they did not drop their weapons, even though I told no, you. No, they are that. kind of like nudging you, and one of them, uh, the the lady centaur, is kind of like leading away, while the other three are behind you and nudging you along towards somewhere deep into the dark forest. And that is, I think, are where we, we can mo- stop for tonight. Are, are we moving? Freon? Yeah. So tense. Not really. Well, if, if you're not moving, we will resolve that next time. Yeah, we will resolve <laughs> see that what happens. I told you because to I had, yeah, Tiana I had, told you to move. <laughs> I had first. If I, when, when they started picking arrows, I took out my weapon. Freon was ready to cast, and we told them if either they drop their weapons or else we will use ours. So we will continue right. next time. We will continue next Roll time. Roll for initiative. And...